Hi and welcome back to the JavaScript beginner tutorial uh, video series. In the last tutorial um, we had a look at arrays and we're just going to have a quick look at uh, arrays again and also variables in this video. So in the last tutorial we looked at how we could make an array and also the fact that we could just set up an empty array and then add in the individual elements of that array later on like we've got here. Um, so I've got uh, var cars equals and an empty array and I've added a whole heap of different cars there as different elements in the array and they've got an index each which is unique. Um, so there's five records or five elements in there starting with an index of zero, one, two, three and up to four. Here I've also got just a variable so this is not an array this is just a variable that's storing one element and it's just the name Joe. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually find out the number of elements in an array um, using the array uh, length method. Okay, so we can find out if we wanted to know how many elements are actually in this array. So, say we've got um, an array that's been collecting information from users and we want to find out how many elements are in that array. We can do this, so we can put it up on the screen, we can say document.write and then in brackets we can refer to the array name which is cars and then dot length, okay, close the bracket, semicolon, save that, run it in Chrome and it says 5, okay, so we, we get the uh, number value there, 5. If we go back there's one, two, three, four, five records in our array. If we take one off, so now there's four records, save that and run it again. It now says four. Okay, so it's telling us how many elements there are in our array. If we want to, though, um, if we want to find out how long this string is, so um, say, for example, a user has entered in their name, We've asked for input, they've entered in the name, and we want to know how long their name is, or they might enter in their email address in a form, and we want to check that it, um, it's a minimum number of characters or a maximum number of characters. We can also check the length of a string. Okay, and it's pretty similar to how we check the uh, length of an array. So we could do uh, we'll comment out this line so it doesn't actually run. Go document.write. And then we'll refer to this variable name here, which is, uh, oh, sorry, this variable name, which is just name, dot blank. Save that and we'll refresh that page. Now it says three, okay? Because there are one, there are one, two, three characters in that string there. If we change it from Joe to Joel, save it and refresh. It should now say four. Yep. Okay, so when we use the length method on an array, it tells us how many elements are in that array. When we use the length method on a string, it tells us how many uh, characters are in that string. If we go back to our array, get rid of the uh, string length one, we go back to our array, and we want to find out the length of a uh, element or a string element here in an array, instead of doing cars.length, we could do cars.length and then put in the uh, index number. So say for example we want to find out the length of the string in cars2, we can put in cars2 cars, cars inside square brackets, so cars square bracket two, close square bracket, and then length, save it and refresh, and now it says six, because if we go to cars two, there are one, two, three, four, five, six characters there. If we change it to cars one, which is BMW, it should say three. There we go. Okay, so you can use the length method to find out how many elements there are in an array, 
to find out the length of a single element in an array and also to find out the length of a string. Okay, so that is how to use the length method on strings and arrays. Thanks for watching.